What's up YouTube, OptoInfo, back with another week video. Check it out, what's the diagnosis? If you're an Opto resident, then surely you're familiar with this. This is the ice rink sign, secondary to a foreign body lodge on the back side of the upper lid, and that's what's causing all those vertical or linear excoriations on the cornea. And you see that with staining with the fluorescein there. Um, so quick two minute video. This is for an ER resident who had some difficulty flipping the upper lid. You may think that that's uh, silly, but if you don't do it all the time, it can be challenging. Um, but if you know a little bit of anatomy, then that can go a long way. So let's quickly go through that. Less than two minutes here. First, look at the anatomy. Um, this is what you need to know. Essentially, this tarsal plate. The tarsal plate is uh, dense connective tissue that houses some uh, mybilin glands that keep the tear film from evaporating. Um, but it also sort of forms the, uh, gives the eyelid some shape, some form um, uh, as it covers the globe. So on to how to do it. Easy, two steps. First, identify those lashes, grab those suckers, hold on to them tight. And then of course, we've got a cross section of the tarsal plate here that I'll trace in green as well. And then go ahead and place your Q-tip or whatever you have handy um, at the top of the tarsus. And as you lift with the lashes, you're gonna push the top of the plate and allow it to flip around so you, you're exposing the tarsal conjunctiva. And I'll show you that live here. I find the, I think that's the camera. Have them look down so that you can grab the lashes. If they're looking straight at you or looking up, then the lashes are hard to get to without poking them in the eyeball, okay? So have them look down, grab the lashes, Get a good handle on them. Put whatever you got there at the top of the tarsus. It's about one centimeter in height, just over it. Um, so just estimate, and as you're lifting, you're pushing down, you can tell them it's gonna feel funky, and then boom. And then I usually put my Q-tip right on the, the eyelid margin, and you can sort of, you can really get up in the crevices as, as you push it up against the globe. And then you just hold it, hold it right here, if you see something, you can you know flick it off with a Q the the wooden side of a Q-tip or whatever you have handy, or you can get at the slit lamp and do it with a needle, you know if you want to be fancy, and then just to get rid of it, you just have them blink. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Peace.